Welcome to the second Dawn of War 3 tutorial. This tutorial will cover elite units, resource capture, line unit upgrades, and advanced combat. We will begin by calling in an elite unit, Gabriel Angelos. Elite units are stronger than line units and possess powerful abilities. They are not deployed from base structures, but are equipped before a match and unlocked in battle by spending elite points. Master Deploy elite unit Gabriel Master. Angelos to the battlefield. Our elite battle brothers are ready to deploy at your word. Gabriel is a powerful melee unit with crowd control abilities. He will accompany your line units and give them a decisive advantage. I will set this Gabriel Angelos is deployed right. and ready for combat. There Take now. Gabriel and your line units to locate a nearby resource point. Resource points will boost your income Tactical and allow you to understand. further build your army. The foe is in heavy cover. Kill the enemies blocking the path to get to the resource point. Kill the enemies blocking the path to get to the resource point. Your master sent you to die! The enemy is now out of your way. Press further to the resource point. It is done. There's the resource point. Move your units inside the resource point's capture radius in order to capture the point. Your units must remain within the capture radius until the capture timer is full in order to own the resource point. The point is yours. You cannot gain resources from a point until you upgrade it with an add-on. Purchase the requisition add-on by clicking the requisition add-on button over the resource point. The requisition generator boosts the amount of requisition you gain from a point. Requisition is the resource used for purchasing vehicle upgrades and infantry units. A power generator is the second type of resource add-on that you can construct. Power is the resource used to construct infantry upgrades and vehicle units. Most upgrades and unit purchases require a little of both of these resources. Purchase the requisition add-on by clicking the requisition add-on button over the resource point. The requisition generator is finished. You will now gain requisition from this resource point. Let us further increase the requisition we are getting from this add-on by purchasing the point's resource upgrade. When your point is done upgrading, the amount of resources it generates will be increased. Upgrade. Enemies are on their way to attack your resource point. Move Gabriel to the entry point to guard the area. Doing it now. Kill the enemy. sustained damage to his health. Base buildings have an ability called Healing Aura that heals I elites. Agree. Out of combat elites that stand next to a base building will have their health restored. 
Move Gabriel next to your base building to heal him. Gabriel moving out. Move Gabriel next to your base building to heal him. Come on, move Gabriel next to your base building to heal him. Likelihood. Master will return to Gabriel has been healed and is ready to return to the battle. We must now take the fight to the enemy. We will use scout squads to track down the enemy. Deploy two scout squads from the you barracks. My favor and the emperors. Scout squad on scouts are stealth units with a large line of sight. Stealth units can only be sighted by enemy detector units. Scout marine. You have your first squad of scouts. Deploy one more. All builder units, such as the servitor, have the ability to detect stealth units. Scout Marines, your scout squads are ready. Yes, my lord. Before we take your infantry into battle, we will upgrade their attack strength at the arsenal building. The arsenal is the Space Marines' upgrade structure. Use your servitor to construct the arsenal. You can locate your servitor by double-clicking the servitor's portrait in your unit queue. Initiating arsenal deployment. Arsenal finished, you can now purchase upgrades for your line units. New abilities for some line units can also be purchased from an upgrade structure. With an upgrade structure, you can purchase health and damage upgrades for your line units. Purchase the infantry damage upgrade from the Arsenal. The infantry damage upgrade boosts the damage of basic infantry units. Building an arsenal also gives your tactical marine squads the ability to upgrade themselves with powerful late-game weaponry. We will now upgrade a tactical marine squad with the plasma gun upgrade. Select a tactical marine squad and left-click the plasma gun upgrade. Tactical marines ready. We will go with plasma, plasma. guns are powerful ranged weapons that fire more rapidly while stationary. If they sustain fire too long Plasma while stationary, gun their guns will overheat and have to cool before resuming fire. Now that your army is upgraded, use it to investigate the hostile area outside of your base. Remember to use your scout squad's Tactical stealth capabilities squad. to scout ahead. We serve the chapter. It shall be done as you like it. There are enemies ahead. However, there is a patch of stealth cover you can use to hide your units. Units inside stealth cover are hidden from view from enemy units outside of it. This allows your units to scout what lies behind stealth cover without revealing themselves to enemies on the other side. Enemy units can gain sight of your units only if they enter the stealth cover with your units. Use stealth cover to ambush your enemies.
Tactical Marines ready. Understood. Ready. Tactical squad entering. What shall we do with our surplus of requisition? Is clear. Setting out now. Use stealth cover to ambush your enemies. Tactical squad moving from hiding. Tactical Marine. Tactical squad moving. Angelo's here. I sent a mob against the boy. The area this ahead is, is treacherous. Use your scouts to scout out any the hostile the enemies ahead. Do not let your scouts become detected. Very good, my lord. There may be enemies inside that stealth cover. Use your camouflaged scouts to safely scout any enemies in the stealth cover. Kill the enemies you find. Understood and underway. They will be under attack out here! Kill the enemies you find in the stealth cover. Finally, real combat! To act. There is an enemy force up ahead. Scout out the enemy force on the upper platform. I hear you. What's the order? By your leave. We embark. Angelos, I will carry out this plan. The enemy has captured the next resource point and built a listening post to protect it. A listening post is a structure with a ranged weapon that also protects resource add-ons from damage. Before you can destroy enemy add-ons or capture an enemy point, you must first destroy the listening post that protects it. Once the listening post is gone, you can destroy the enemy add-ons and take the point for yourself. Destroy the listening post. Go ahead, command. We've our marching orders. I am Gabriel, going covert. You have a target for us? I'm here. Go ahead. The Emperor lights our way. Destroy the listening post. Enemies killed. You will die one by one. You cannot stand against the Emperor's angels of death. Destroy the listening post. Enemies killed. Your target to disappear into the field. you scum. Where to? I will not falter. Destroyed. The listening post is destroyed, and the resource point is now vulnerable to capture. Go ahead, capture the resource point. Prepare. We'll put these resources to use. We are ready for war. Take position in cover. Plasma tactical squad on the move. Taking the point. Well done. This completes your second Dawn of War 3 tutorial. You are ready to proceed to the last tutorial, which centers around Dawn of War 3 multiplayer. You have won glory in battle this day.